Kelly Rudak Imponzu has accomplished something that no other footballer in history has accomplished. He has gone from the non-leagues to the Premier League all with one team. And in this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about him. This is the story of Pelly Rudock and Ponzu. And Ponzu started his career with championship side West Ham. He made his debut in a League Cup win over Burnley, but he was never really given much playing time. In 2013, he was loaned out to fifth tier side Luton Town. He made his debut as a center back, but eventually started playing center mid for them. And after just seven games, his story at Luton Town was almost over before it started. West Ham was dealing with injury problems, so they decided to recall and Ponzu from his loan deal. He was now back at the championship side, but not for two long. Coach John Still was really impressed with Imponzu's performances at Luton Town, so he decided to bring him back on a permanent transfer. Imponzu could have denied the deal and stayed at a championship side, but instead he accepted the deal and the rest was history. In Imponzu's first year at the club, Luton Town was promoted up into League Two and Imponzu told a reporter that he made the right choice by transferring clubs because he had a medal to show for it. In the next two seasons, nothing interesting happened. Imponzu dealt with hamstring injuries and Luton Town was just a mid-table team surviving in League Two. In the 2016-17 season, Imponzu was back and he played in 52 games that season. He led Luton Town to a playoff spot where they would play against Blackpool in the semi-final with the spot in League One on the line. In the second leg, the score was 5-5 on aggregate and it looked like the game was heading into extra time. This was until disaster struck and Luton Town scored an own goal in the 95th minute to knock them out of the playoffs. This was devastating at the time, but they came back a completely different team. The following season, they were promoted to League One after finishing second place, and then immediately the next season, they finished first place in League One, and they were back in the championship. And this meant Pelly, Rudak, and Ponzu was one promotion away from becoming the first player in history to go from non-leagues to the Premier League. First season in the championship was rough as they finished 19th place, just three points above relegation. The following season, they finished 12th, and the season after that, they finished sixth place, meaning they had a chance to earn promotion into the Premier League. They faced off against Huddersfield in the semifinals, and at the 80th minute of the second leg, the score was 1-1, to and it looked like the game was going into extra time. But just as disaster struck in the Blackpool game, it struck again in the Huddersfield game. Substitute Jordan Rhodes scored from a set piece to make the score 2-1 to and to knock Luton Town out of the playoffs. It was a terrible night for Luton fans, but Luton bounced back as they always do. In the 2022-2023 season, Luton Town finished third place in the championship. They faced Sunderland in the first leg of the semifinals, and it did not go to plan. They lost 2-1, but in the second leg, they bounced back and won 2 to nothing meaning they would have a spot in the championship final. And Ponzu was now one game away from making history. After 120 minutes against Coventry City in the championship final, the game was headed to penalties. And Ponzu had been substituted out in the 98th minute, so he had to rely on his teammates to carry him to the Premier League. After 11 kicks, the score was 6-5 in favor of Luton, and Coventry needed to score their next kick to stay alive. Then Caddy Dabu stepped up to take the decisive penalty for Coventry, and he skied it. And Ponzu had done it. He was officially the first player in history to go from England's National League to the Premier League all with one club. The next step for him is to win the Premier League. Good luck with that one. If you enjoyed this video, I would highly recommend checking out my most recent video, or you could check out this video that YouTube has recommended for you. And as always, please subscribe and thank you for watching.